Happy Wednesday. It is time for Get Just With Merrick. Today we're going to talk about statement earrings. I wore these beautiful statement earrings for you. Um, and I'll be showing you a couple of different pairs. I, on my blog post today, I shared a bunch of different um, statement earrings. I will swipe you up to that. I also shared six tips for wearing statement earrings um, that will be helpful if you're struggling to wear them. And then on my Instagram post this morning, I asked you what struggles you had and a lot of the issues were different than what I talked about in my blog post. So I'm gonna address those today. And if you want additional tips, swipe up for the full blog post about that. Um, let me outline the issues that I'm gonna talk about. So number one, the big issue of 2020, how to wear masks with earrings, statement earrings. So we'll cover that. We will talk about uh, different sizes of earrings. These are obviously on the bigger side. Um, but also you can have small earrings that are still statement earrings, so we will talk about that. And then um, how to wear glasses with statement earrings. Another issue a lot of you mentioned was the heaviness of statement earrings, so we'll talk about some good options that are lighter weight. And then um, also how to do your hair when you're wearing statement earrings, so we'll talk about that. That is actually one of my tips in my blog post, but again, I'm not gonna break down all of those today, so you can swipe up to read the full blog post because it outlines all of that. Plus it has a bunch of statement earrings linked. So here we go. Okay, issue number one that we're gonna talk about is the size of the earring. And a lot of you said that you have trouble wearing it because they're just too big, too loud, too much of a statement, and it makes you feel uncomfortable. So number one, I think with anything that is new and also large, it can be uncomfortable and you just need time to get used to it. I totally would never have worn these big earrings when I first started wearing bigger earrings. So start smaller and work your way up as your comfort level increases. But also it helps, and this is one of my tips in my blog post today, uh, when you have a simple outfit like this, this is just a burgundy um, ribbed sweater dress and black pumps, it's very simple. Same thing with like a little black dress or another just basic outfit, jeans and a nice sweater. You can wear something bigger and bolder because the rest of the outfit is so simple. And so it's nice to add a little bit of personality, a little pop, a little statement when everything else is simple. I just pulled this dress out of my closet. Obviously this is like the other extreme. It's very bold, very loud, very colorful. But I would not feel as comfortable wearing something so bold and so loud with a big bold earring. So just keep that in mind as you're putting outfits together. If your outfit that you're wearing is subtle um, and simple, no ruffles, no puff sleeves, I think you'll feel more comfortable wearing statement earrings because you don't feel like your whole outfit is loud and bold and standing out. I wanna take you inside my jewelry drawer for a second to show you a couple of options that are still statement earrings that are not so huge. So the ones that I just showed you are these ones. They are very large, hang down three or four inches. But you can find one like this. This is just a small pearl earring. Let me show you. This is small. These are the ones that I keep showing you. I'll link these. But that is still a statement earring, but it is much smaller, much easier to wear. Same thing like with this pearl earring or um, these big statement earrings. These are just an oversized pearl stud. They don't hang down at all, but they still definitely make a statement. So don't feel like you have to wear these like enormous things in order to make a statement. There are plenty of options that are small and wearable. Okay, next issue, how to do your hair when you're wearing statement earrings. So I have two go-tos. One is I always part my hair on the side. Maybe you part yours in the middle. I part mine on the side and on the side that's with the part, I tuck this behind my ear almost always when I wear statement earrings. A lot of you said that when you wear statement earrings, the earrings just kind of get lost in your hair. And so this is an easy way to show the earring without like, hey, here's my entire ears. So there's one little easy tip for you. The other thing is when I'm wearing a shirt with a high neck or like a turtleneck or something, I really like to wear my hair in a low messy bun. Let me show you. Like this. This is literally just like twisted around into a knot. Um, but I like to do this, like I said, especially with high necks, because I feel like if you have a high neck, you have big earrings, and you have your hair just like all right here, there's just like so much going on. So I feel like pulling your hair out of the way, it just lets the neckline be what it is and your earrings to show without like feeling constricted. And I choose a low messy bun instead of like a top knot. I almost never wear like long dangly earrings with a top knot. I'll wear hoop earrings, I'll wear big stud earrings, but I feel like 
when there's no hair and like all my hair is, you know, slicked up and back, it's like too much earring. So I like the balance of the hair and the earring just kind of like balancing each other out. Hopefully that makes sense. Issue number three that you guys asked about was glasses with statement earrings. So I am not a glasses wearer. These are blue light glasses. I wear them to work, but I don't wear them all day long. So I wanted to kind of experiment to see what worked best. And I think the ones that looked best, first of all, you can absolutely wear glasses with statement earrings, but I think the ones that looked best were the ones that were a little bit lighter weight. Um, I tried these on with the uh, ones that I wore in the first outfit that were the gold circles. And those are obviously very long, kind of a chunky earring, big, like opaque gold. Um, and it was just too much with the glasses in my opinion. So I chose these ones. These are kind of like a lacy, um, earring and these feel much lighter weight. They're not competing with the glasses. And then I also did it with these small pearl hoop earrings. And I think both of these look fantastic. They're not competing. You don't feel like there's so much going on in your face, but it's just a little something. Oh, also, if you're going to wear glasses with statement earrings, maybe pull your hair back because, and especially if you're wearing a shirt where like your neckline is covered, otherwise there's just like too much going on. Neck covered, hair down, earrings, glasses, you know. Okay, I'm going to take you back to the jewelry drawer because issue number four that you guys talked a lot about was that statement earrings are too heavy for you. And I certainly have a couple pairs of earrings that are more on the heavy side, but there are plenty out there that are not heavy, especially your small ones. A lot of you have post or have um, bought these since I posted about them so many times because they're on sale for 15 bucks. And you're like, I can't even feel them. They're so lightweight. And they really are just like completely weightless. So that's a good option. A lot of you in the comments on my Instagram this morning recommended Nickel and Suede, which I love their earrings. They're fantastic uh, leather earrings. And anything that's fabric is gonna be really lightweight. These ones that I got from Lisey Lurch, uh, it's felt on the back and then sequins. They are incredibly lightweight, even though they are enormous. Um, same thing like with these raffia ones, super lightweight. You can find tons. I have these feather ones, super lightweight. So there's a lot of options that are big or small that are lightweight. Now for the biggest issue of 2020, wearing masks with earrings. <laughs> it is a challenge. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Okay, so I wear masks with earrings. Here we go. All the time, almost every day. Um, and I'm going to show you the ones that are the best to wear with earring or to wear with masks that are not going to get caught. So number one is the oversized studs like this. These are obviously pearls. But there's tons of different oversized studs. They're not going to get caught and you can still see them even with the mask. Second one is hoops that go all the way around. Let me see if I can take these off for you to show you. Um, there are a lot of hoops. You can see this one closes completely. And so there's nothing for the mask hoop to get caught on. And it is a game changer. A hoop earring like this, where it doesn't make a complete circle, it gets caught in the strap every single time I try to take it on and off. So annoying. So avoid hoops like this. Here are two other options, okay? This is a statement earring that totally works for me. It's large, but it's all very compact. There's nothing dangling. This is all one big piece. Whereas this one has these little bobbles down here and it's gonna be really easy for this strap when I pull it off to grab one of these and yank the whole earring out. So if you're looking for good earrings, bigger earrings that work well, avoid ones that like have a lot of pieces that are hooked together or, um, little dangly pieces like this. Choose ones that are all one piece. Okay, earrings had to come out. That was too many times poking them through and pulling them out. Um, that's it. Hopefully that answers all your questions. Those were the big main issues that you talked about um, and asked about in the Instagram post this morning. I will leave a question box if there's anything else that I missed and definitely swipe up and check out the six tips that I shared in my blog post today, plus all of those really fantastic statement earrings that I rounded up.